Good news everyone! Gluck is bringing a rifle! And by that I don't mean a conversion kit from a pistol to a pistol carbine, I mean an assault rifle or semi-automatic carbine, maybe also full automatic, don't know yet. But they're bringing a rifle. Where did we found it? We looked at some newly released patterns from them and yeah, we want to supply you with all the infos we found about it. So. What will the rifle look like? Something like this. So at first glance it doesn't look like anything special. It looks really like an RF-15 system or something like that. But I think that's due to the fact they used in their sketch uh, RF-15 magazine and buttstock. But when you take a closer look you notice some differences. Which is quite interesting is that the buttstock is a little bit above the center line of the rifle. I hope this has to do something with a better recoil management or a lower recoil in that case. Also in some of the patterns there is a sketch of a field stripped rifle. And there you see it doesn't look like an RIF-15 system anymore. You have a very small bolt and bolt carrier. The barrel is a little bit... Yeah, okay, it looks strange in this thing. Yeah, they have a magazine. It's an upper and lower design that we already figured out. So you have the upper body assembly with, with, with the barrel, with the gas stroke piston, gas stroke piston system. And the bolt and bolt carrier. And in the lower you see we have the grip, the mag catch, magazine well and everything, buffer stock, yeah, trigger, trigger safety and all that stuff you need for a good rifle. So before we jump into the details that we found regarding all these technical things you find in patterns, we we just want to make something clear. We didn't we don't we are not leaking here something. Uh, because patterns are made public. When Once they're published everyone can have a look at them, also you can. You just need to go to a patent site and start your search. It's a little frustrating sometimes because there are a ton of new patterns, but sometimes you find some real gems like this one. The patterns only concern about small technical details and how they work. They don't give any exact dimensions or other information. So what we don't know yet is what caliber it will be in. We're guessing NATO standard 556 by 45 millimeter will be a hot tip. We don't know if it uses metal or polymer. At least we think it will use both since it's Glock. Glock is famous for polymer. We also don't know on the fore on the on the handguard if there will be any. Uh, mounting points like M-Lock, key mod or what else, but we think some of those it will be. We also think there will be a top rail with Picantini because it's it's kind of standard in industry now to have a Picantini top rail, but there are no details in the patents yet so we are only are vaguely guessing. We can't tell Will it be also for civilians? So will there be a semi-automatic version only? Will it only be for law enforcement and military? Who is this rifle actually made for? By that I mean especially law enforcement or especially military. Don't know yet. And yeah. We don't know many. But what what we can but what what we can tell you are the technical um, details about it we found out and which is already a quite an interesting gun, the Glock carbine or Glock rifle as you want to know it, and we're going to show it to you now. So first off, this here is the charging handle or charging handle assembly in that point. In the front you see the charging handle. And in the back you see the bolt carrier. What is interesting about this concept is that the charging handle is ambidextrous and it folds away to the front if you don't use it. So that's cool. Also the location of the charging handle will be somewhere middle of the barrel. So you have the 
gas port somewhere in the front and somewhere above that there will be the, char the location of the charging handle. Also the charging handle will be a toolless disassembly option. So you just can slide it somehow out of the side as pictured. And also it's stated in the patent that, that, that this look of the charging handles itself by the, by the handles themselves are not are adaptable so you can choose the opening angle and you also can choose different kinds of handles so you can swap them out also toolless and that's what we found for the charging handle looks really good on the first glance not quite sure how it performs in real life but hopefully we will see someday the next part you've already seen is the bolt carrier and we want to check that out we have this technical drawing out of the patterns from the bolt carrier group. Actually, it's the bolt carrier, the bolt, and the return spring, or whatever it's called. On the first glance, looks something like an AK because of the spring is at the top of the bolt carrier. But yeah, that's the only similarity we will, we've seen here. So when, what we recognized is that the whole bolt carrier and bolt carrier assembly is really small actually it's quite small also has not a lot of travel thing you don't need a buffer tube like an AR15 platform so I guess there will be some variants with folding stocks and something like that it's also cool looks like also like a design with very few parts that's one thing Glock is famous for since the Glock pistol only consists of ah, don't, don't hit me if I'm wrong like 25 or 30 something parts with, which is, isn't much yeah and the whole rifle is also designed to be toolless and without screws but you, you will see what I mean later on and here we have another detailed picture of the bolt and the bolt carrier. It's quite an interesting design, at least for the bolt carrier. It's relatively complex, but yeah, I guess it will work fine. The patent is going very into detail how the empty shell is extracted and thrown out of the weapon, but I, I spare you all the details because I, I, I really don't get it in all its depth since I'm not a licensed gunsmith, I'm just a hobby gunsmith in that way. It's very technical to read the patent. You, you have to try it, really try it. It's awful. Yeah, because in the patent you have like diagrams, you have a whole world locked, endless stream of text with all numbers written in between so that you can see what part is meant. And then there's this sketch or this figure, figure four in, I don't know the patent number anymore. And yeah, basically you see there how the, uh, extraction of the empty chamber uh, of the empty, empty shell will look like it's kind of cool but i spare you all the technical details since i also don't get them in their whole vastness but i think it's a cool design hmm? uh, as you can see they they used for the drawing kind of a 556 or 23 uh, two or 223 remington but I guess just for illustration purpose, because in the patents it's only written, yeah, it can, dimensions can may vary due to the fact that you have different calibers and, and, and barrels and whatsoever. One of the patents is concerning the gas system. It is a piston system, but nothing we've seen before in this kind. Actually, no, we've never seen before. It also uses the term mid-stroke gas system since it's not a short stroke. It is, it's kind of referred as short stroke is from so the travel of the bolt of the gas bolt is around 15 to 20 millimeters and not a long stroke which is more than 30. It's in between somewhere between 20 and 30 millimeters in the end. So it is so the gas bolt wanders back 20 to 30 millimeters and kicks back the bolt carrier. It's an interesting design, but why do we say it's interesting? Because it looks like this. Actually, you're looking at the barrel in the front 
and then the back you see a uh, bolt carrier again and then between this ring and a uh, cylinder in that way and some weird rectangular shapes. The ring in front actually is the gas piston. Yeah, it, 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 it's weird. So we're going to the <laughs> cut out view or the exploded view. And there you see it better. So this ring with number 18 in this thing, that's the gas piston. That's the moving part. There's a clamp on the thing with two pins and gases get drawn out of the barrel, which also has a very detailed view in a second and then pushes everything else back. There are some, some minor, some small re return springs, part number 19, which, which they call push rods. So the pushing back and then everything goes to the bolt carrier and pushes that back and extract around and yeah, you, 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 I guess you know the basic <laughs> operations, but they used it that way. So here we have a picture of figure three from one of those patterns. And yeah, it's a little hard to see, but it's a cut diagram of the barrel. So in the middle, it's the barrel and on top of that, there's the pinned, um, yeah, and say gas assembly, gas port assembly. I don't know how, how I call it. It's too, too many different terms because they, they name every, every part on their own. It's, it's, it's horrible to read. So in, in figure 3a you see the gas piston in the forward position and then P, uh, figure 3b is the gas port in the farthest back position. It's not much, it's, it's like, like it's 20 to 30 millimeters, so something around an inch <laughs> for, my, for my friends over, over the big ocean. And yeah, it's interesting. Just an interesting design. Maybe some gunsmiths will we will know <laughs> better about this and can tell you even more than I do. But but I think it's an interesting design. I haven't seen that in this way. Also interesting for me. I only know guns with one drilled hole for a gas port, but this barrel has two on the as you see on the top and on the bottom. Another big design feature of the Glock carbine will be that it has a quick interchangeable barrel. We found this graphic in the patents. Also, it's it's like two or three patents regarding the, the barrel, but in one of this was this real nice view. The back portion of the barrel where the bullet goes in. So it's a breech, I, I guess it's called that in English. And that's locked into a block and this is clamped down. Actually, it's a clamping secure. It is a, clamped and secu uh, secured by clamping, so hard, hard to say. It's similar to a Steyr Aug or Steyr Aug you, with the quick detachable feature of the military version at least. So you put the, you twist the barrel like 15 to 20 degrees or 30, I don't know, no, no, yeah, 30, I think it's more like 30. You push it in and then the Locking device, you twist it and then on the Steyr Aug you have the small button. Who locks it? I guess it's called the barrel lock. Makes sense to call it the barrel lock since it locks the barrel. But here you also slide in the barrel from the front, twist it into position and then you have at the bottom the this clamping lever with this pin. It's uh, part 40 and 41 on the lowermost. To show you that better, we even found another picture. It's a, a cut view again. And yeah, there you see it even with a little small casing. So you have the barrel in the front. It goes in there, locks into the barrel lock place, breech, whatsoever. And then it's clamped down with an you also have a small notch in the bottom of the barrel. So this one um, makes sure that the barrel is straight and not rotated. It's also stated in the, in the patterns that this barrel, uh, that this lock is not um, touching the barrel. It's a 
tens of a millimeter space or even less, but it's not touching, except the barrel is a little bit rotated. So the barrel is still free, free floating and yeah, I think that's good for accuracy and s stuff like that. But it's way too many gun physics or would I say gun magic. <laughs> yeah, but basically the Glock carbine, the real Glock carbine will have a quick detachable barrel, which we think is cool. And as far as we've seen it, this since this all is, is mounted in the upper receiver or the upper part, I guess you won't be able to interchange it without disassembling the gun like on a Steyr arc, because basically you can just take the barrel out on the military version. In a civilian nut, but on a military version, you just need to pull back your cocking lever and then you can slide out the barrel. Nice feature sometimes for something, but actually, in the military, we di didn't ever swept the barrels because there are no spare barrels for normal infantry guys because in normal infantry. <laughs> Glock also made. Uh, extra patent about the magazine catch or the locking mechanism. It's also ambidextrous. As you can see it's a two-part two-part part. part. <laughs> uh, it's in this picture it's number two and three. So it looks similar to an AR-15 system but without any springs. I guess there have to be somewhere have to be springs otherwise it couldn't go back, but it's an interesting design. Also, note the magazine, it kind of looks an R R AR-15 style magazine, but different. There is no patent out yet about the magazines for this gun, but we think it will be a kind of polymer magazine, because Glock may is very good with polymer. With, in the patent there's this nice illustration of the mag catch mechanism. As you can see it's a really slick and simple design. Only two parts. I guess it's to take apart uh, without tools or any specialized tools at least. No screws. Looks really interesting. Looks really interesting. Those were all parts and infos we found in the patents regarding the Glock carbine or as they call it, and gas-operated carbine. I know it's not much, but on the other hand, it is very much, since Glock, the pistol company, is working on an actual rifle, which, we, which rumors were circling around for some, some years quite right now, but now it just got real. We don't know when this rifle will hit the market, Maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe in five years, no one knows. We also don't know, as we said, uh, mentioned earlier, we don't know the calibers, we don't know the details of mounting systems and so on. But from what we've seen, it's an interesting design. It's kind of new, or yeah, at least the gas stroke system is new. Really really pumped to see where this is going. So hopefully Glock will release soon some pictures of the whole gun. Would be nice. We we'll keep uh, keep looking for new patterns. As soon as there are some we, we, we will inform you about that and yeah. Let's hope for the best. And hopefully it's also available for civilians. So you can have a Glock as your primary arm and your secondary. Would be nice. So you're a complete Glock guy for all Glock fanboys out there. Feel you in my heart, bros. Thanks for watching. We have also some information in written form, but in German on our site. Check the link out in the description. Yeah, it was a pleasure that I could reveal this new information to you. So hopefully this thing will come real soon. So stay safe, stay healthy and until then, bye.